So we had a vehicle accident uh, involving one of our structures. The down lines, they're still energized across the road. Take a look at the scene here. You can see the tire tracks in the snow. The vehicle came off the road hitting this ditch and actually jumped through the air and struck this pole right here. The vehicle landed on its roof in the ditch. As the top of the pole broke off, this, this is the wire here that was hanging about maybe six feet off the ground, coming off the top of this pole, across the street to the transformer pole. So as I arrived, the police and fire had the road blocked off. We set up my truck. First thing we did was open that cutout to de-energize the lines and then cut them clear from the area drug them off the road and the police and fire continued to provide some traffic control. Once the scene was somewhat secure, I mean, this is this is dangling here but it's not going to fall to the ground or anything, the tow truck was able to come in and remove the vehicle so we can start our work. One of the first phone calls I made was to the office to get some of our own traffic control on their way here. They should be here any minute. Along with the crew, we're going to set our own pole, replace this pole, fix all the communication wires as well as ours. Another, another important thing to do when arriving at these vehicle accidents is check all the surrounding structures. So we made sure to check the insulators, cross arms on the next, next few span up, as well as in this direction. And of course, the customer's home doesn't look like it damaged his mast. I mean, a lot of times that'll rip the mast right off the house. Communication wire ripped off, damaged the siding a little bit. So he'll have to go over the, he'll have to go after the driver's insurance to cover the cost for those repairs. Pretty, pretty easy job as far as broken poles are concerned. No big outage. Probably one of the biggest hazards here today is, is going to be the traffic. It is a little bit of a blind tail in turn on either side of the work area. So we're going to have signs set up. A couple, probably six signs set up on the highway with the flaggers with an arrow horn and radio communications. There'll be three of us working on site to make these repairs. Um, two man crew with the digger truck and, and myself. So we should, should be out of here and probably about three or four hours.